We're gonna go have a shooting competition and whoever wins, wins all three guns. Oh, if you're in, that means you could win up to $1,200 in guns. There's a lot more money in it than we yeah. Let's go ahead and just add up the scores to see what the scores really came out to be. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is gonna be actually a super cool and epic video. We're gonna be going pawn shopping, and me, Julius, and Garrett, we're all gonna buy one gun, and at the end of this video, we're gonna go have a shooting competition, and whoever wins, wins all three guns. Shooting for pink slips. Wait a minute. I don't think I signed up for that. Oh, I oh signed yeah? up for buying a gun oh, yeah? and shooting the gun. Uh, now we're uh, pink slipping the pink gun? Pink slips. Pink slips. That'll shoot good. We'll do a $300 budget, so basically whoever wins can win $900. Yeah, all right. sound fair? I'm down. So basically, we gotta find a bunch of cheap shotguns, but we also need them to be good enough to win the competition. So, you know, do you buy a $100 gun or do you buy a, like a $350 gun? What's it gonna take to win? Well, we're gonna go ahead and start up the truck, head to our first store, and we'll pick you guys up. Guys, we're rolling up at the first gun store. We're actually stopping at my favorite place, Anton Arms in Monroe. This dude is an awesome guy. We're gonna see what he's got. Normally, he doesn't keep stuff in stock of the lower quality that we're looking for, but we, we're gonna see if he's got something for us. All right, Daddy Daddy. We are we looking today? for cheap shotguns today. We're doing a shooting competition. We're shooting for pink slips. We're gonna go shoot clays at the end of this video, and whoever wins gets all the guns we buy today. So, all of them. Yeah, so we need $300 budget, cheap junk, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, whatever you got, shotguns. What, what we got on display out we here? We got a double barrel. A side by side? Yeah, side by side. So I have been eyeballing this one up. It's a little out of the budget. Only about $50, it, it but I mean. It is pretty though. Yeah, it is like, pretty. A nice side by side 12 gauge. Could you do 300 on it? Yeah, because I mean, I'm going to win it back. So it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, like, oh, it, oh, you're yeah, shooting with us, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Am I yeah? To? yeah? Yeah, come maybe on, I, man. Maybe put put your money where your mouth is. Hey, I lost last time. <laughs> All right, so we got 300 bucks there. This option right here, double barrel, side right. by side, $300. Those are probably all gonna be out of the price range, out of I the assume. Price range, out of the price range. Well, right. do you have anything in the back that's cheap? I might, give me one second. Okay, if Thad's shooting with us, we're gonna have to find four guns for this competition. And I guess winner takes all four, which is gonna be pretty nuts. What is How that cheap thing? Is cheap? Oh my gosh. Is that from the 70s or what? Uh, the, no, it's like the 60s. <laughs> Still got 60s. a little patina in there. All right, what's the price on that bad boy? 100 bucks? 100, yeah. Yes. Okay, this is definitely on the cheap side of things, but we could make it work. So if we got $300 budget, oh, if you're in, I guess that means you could win up to $1,200 in guns and you'd be only in it for a hundred bucks. That's pretty fair, but- That is pretty, pretty nuts. But how good of a shot are you? Yeah. Are you like a hundred dollars good? I think I can, depends on what y'all have, but- No, it doesn't matter what we have. You oh, gotta I'm be proud of yourself and cocky enough to know you can do it. Oh, I think I can beat y'all with a hundred dollars. Oh no, that might be number one. All right, you taking that one? I guess. <laughs> First gun is down. I'm a little bit worried about this side by side here. So I do have a little bit of a trick. Check this out. You don't know what choke tubes are in this thing, right? But you take a marker cap. So that's probably a modified in that one. That's probably a improved cylinder. No way. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. No, you like literally take a marker cap and so you can see how tight it is. Yeah. That's gonna be modified. That's gonna be improved cylinder. Huh. See how it goes down so far? Yeah. Improved cylinder, modified. I had no idea. That's pretty dope. So whenever we start running around gun shops and we start looking at old old guns at least the 12 gauges we can get an idea of what pattern it's throwing so before we leave that what's your plan you said you want to shoot with us what's yeah. your plan here i'm bringing an 870 that i found out there like a 400 dollars 870 shotgun yeah so now we're talking some money on the table it's not money because i'm gonna win it back yeah so it's okay like, okay no you're not i don't think Dude, you realize the competition that <laughs> oh, oh man i might have to actually really look for me a gun now we got an 870 on the table and now we're talking about winning something let's take this Take that one? Yeah. What's happening? We're gonna have to win this gun. He's gonna shoot it tomorrow with the 870. 870. Hey, do your choke. You you know if you lose, you, you lose that gun there, right? I'm not gonna lose. Not gonna lose. Sad Dad's to lose. all about it. I'm gonna be sad to lose to this. I can't. I won't. <laughs> I promise you, you will. Dad's just coming in swinging. Are you sure? Are you in on this? I've never shot this gun. 
Yeah. <laughs> you um, your face. <laughs> yeah, I was more sure until you asked uh -huh. me. I'm back yeah. now. No, you're in it. You're in it. We'll see you tomorrow with the whole 870. Yep, we're gonna go uh, find some more guns and we might shoot a little skeet tonight. The shoot off is in the morning, so technically we get some practice. Okay, guys, that just dropped a bombshell on us and put an 870 in the mix. Now we're gambling, gambling. <laughs> I want that 870. He just he threw it on us, man. I don't. I didn't really want the single shot. We're gonna run to the next pawn store. I got a store with a bunch of old cheap guns, but our budgets just went up a little bit because I think now we all really want to win because uh, that 870 is nice. So let's roll on. Guys, we have made it to our second stop, American Pawn and Gun. I have bought some guns here. I just actually bought my 50 BMG, but it's a pretty nice shop. I don't know if they're going to have guns in our price range, but let's check it out. So what do we got? Sub We're looking for sub, sub three, $400 guns. Right. Shotguns. You bought 12 gauge or 20 gauge? Mm -hmm. Either or. Yeah, like. preferably 12. We're gonna find something good. What about this? Call 870? That thing is pretty. Yeah. What's the best price you can do on this? Uh, probably about 350. You said 350? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. Hey, that is actually really pretty. Yep. All right, we'll do the favorite work on that. You find anything interesting? Uh, that black one, not the 20 gauge, but the 12 gauge. Yeah, this is, that 12 is gauge? Uh, 20 gauge. This is 20 gauge. Okay. Hey, I can't believe we got two 870s rolling in the competition right now. All right, well, let's do the paperwork on that one. Right. I'm stoked about that. It's a little over budget, but we'll make it work. Got to get my wallet. Bro, American Pawn and Gun. That is a killer price on an 870. I was not expecting to leave with that gun. I walked in, I go, damn, that is a beautiful 70 and when he told me the price is like ready to roll we're good big shout out to these guys we're gonna go ahead pay for this gun get out of here we'll show you all the guns when we're done but we got one more store to stop at so this is our last and final stop but we have made it to beltway gun and pond now this place has a ton of inventory and they got a lot of the cheaper guns older guns stuff that's gonna fall in our price range garrett we looking for you one bud Let's me and julius are done thad's done it's all you Let's see if we we'll find something see if we get something bud this is a pretty cool store so let's walk in here and see what they got Look at all these guns. Dude, there's they, there's too many to choose There's probably from. 200 shotguns in there's here to look at. Too many to choose I mean, from. a whole line this right here, pick. this back side, and over there. Yep. Julius, what do you like about that one? I said, this would be my pick. That'd be your pick? How much is that one? Too much. Too much? 370. 370. I mean, that's not like crazy. You might be able to get it for a better price. It's a, it's a full choke. It's pretty smooth. It's yeah. 12 gauge. It's got a decent long barrel. What are you thinking so far, Garrett? I don't know, man. There's too many options. We just got to get to digging and get to picking, eh? Yeah. Doger. 350, 299. 299? That's not a bad price. Interchangeable choke, five round pump. I think we're gonna be here all day looking at you, looking at guns. We might be, because there's a lot of options. There is a lot of options. We even weird. got Christian looking at guns. Is that your pick, bud? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we got a lot of guns to look at. We're gonna go through these and figure out what's gonna be the best option and show you what gun Garrett picks out. So I had this Weatherby. I had to see what they had come down on it, because I like it. Came down to 350 instead of 400, which is a semi-auto Weatherby. 12 gauge. Already has a modified in it. Looks good to me as long as she goes bang. It should go bang. I mean, that's not a bad price. I don't see a problem with it. I like it. I'm gonna win them all anyway, so it don't really matter. <laughs> there you go. Dude, it's gonna be, it's gonna get wild. Because everyone went over budget. So, I mean, there's a lot more money, other than Julius. There's a lot more money in it than we were expecting. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Bring me it. up. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have made it out to Hyatt Farms. We got Julius, we got Thad, we got Garrett, Christian over there. Bad buddy, show us your gun and tell us how much money you got into it. We have $300 into this. $300. It is a Remington 870. The old 870. Oh, this is a Super Magnum. So oh, I man. Three, you mean to tell me I'm going to win a Super Mag today? Yeah, man, three and a half. All right, so we got an 870. Garrett, what'd you get? What was the <laughs> I got me old Weatherby, baby. The old semi-auto Weatherby. 12 gauge, 28 inch barrel. And what did that take out of your pocket? 367 out the door. 367 out the door. So yep. that might be the most expensive gun we got. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it went big. Julius, big money. What you rocking today? Dude, 
knocking the best gun out here. The old freaking single shot. Single so shot. this is what we thought we'd be shooting this tournament with. No, we all thought we were gonna be shooting guns of this caliber, <laughs> and y'all. Then Thad got, stepped in. Yeah, I, and then, and then I, don't, I didn't mean to. It, it happened. It definitely happened. We got an 870, a Weatherby, and a 20 gauge single shot, and then we got mine, which I believe is the prettiest. It's just a wood grain to 870. I picked this up for 350 dollars. Shout out to American Gun and Pond. They hooked it up. 350 on this gun? Shoot, wait, that was a pretty good deal. Sexy gun. It is just a Remington 870. I don't think it's a Magnum. Dad's got the one up on me. I got the pretty wood though. I got the pretty wood. We got the golf carts all loaded up. We're gonna be shooting the woods course today. It is 100 shots to shoot the entire woods course. So it's gonna be a fun long day, but at the end of this, somebody is winning like $1,500 in guns, which is gonna be super, super sick. So let's roll down to the first target and pick you up. All right, guys, we've just made it to the first shoot house. We got the ski thrower set up down there. So right here, we actually got our clipboard. Julius is up the bat first, then Thad, then me, then Garrett. Really? Yeah. Made me last. Yeah. Huh? I'm yeah. Gonna show all you got the best up. chances, man. I'm gonna show everybody up. So basically, we shoot 100 targets. A X if you hit it, O if you miss it. Whoever has the most X's at the end of the shoot wins all the guns. This should be pretty damn cool. So you plug this card in, and now let's see. What's the sign say? It is report pairs. So report is an A, and then when you shoot B. I can't do report pairs. Yeah. I, I have one shot. Yeah. We'll just throw everything as a single for you, bud. Tell us when, Joe. You ready? Go ahead. Pull. Oh, hold on, let's get the sheet out. So he missed. So, so zero. It's an O. All right. And then if he hits that one, it's an X. And we're going to do that for all of us, please. There it is. That's an X. Miss. Hit me. So my shoulder's going <laughs> to hurt. This thing is not forgiving. Uh -oh. Garrett, how many did get out of his first eight shots? Six out of eight. Six out of eight, so he's two down. Two down. Two down. All right, Dad. Pull. Yep. Hey. Oh, and a miss. There's a hit. Miss. Hit. Uh oh. Pull. Yep. Hit. Uh oh, Julius and Thad are even. I better get ahead or something. So I haven't really shot at 870 since I was a kid. I had a youth model 870 growing up, but it has been a while. I got confidence in her though. Pull. 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 We rocking and rolling. Well, Julius, it's not looking good already. <laughs> Four shots in, and he's already got us beat. Pull. Pull. Is that it, more? No, you got two more, but I bet you can miss these two. Miss these yeah, two? Yeah, I bet you can. I might be 100% accurate right here, son. Pull. Beep, beep, beep. Ah! Oh, no, 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 perfect score. Not a chance. <laughs> perfect so far, baby. I right, Garrett. Julius and Thad tied at six. I'm so far perfect with eight. Let's see what Garrett does. Pull. Oh. We were missing. Yeah. Oh. So I'm in first, Garrett's in second. These two are tied in last. Y'all know last place don't get you nothing, right? Hey, man. But we're tied for last. We're tied. <laughs> like so nobody's actually last. This is gonna be a long day of shooting. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start running the course and we'll pick the camera up here in about, mm, we'll do a check in about five stations in, see where everybody's at. We're on the second course, Julius dropped three. Thad took his place with only missing one. Well, let's see if I can keep up mine. Oh. Oh, I you missed it. Smoked that first one though. Pull. All right, now I'm getting a little nervous. Well, Garrett's gun is now turned into a single shot. That's what happens when you go out and buy a bunch of cheap guns. Julius' gun isn't extracting already, but I was thinking about it. We got an arms dealer, which is Thad. We got an Air Force kid, which is Garrett. We got the cowboy, and then we got just the normal redneck. So, what does that equate to? I don't know, but felonies. <laughs>
Gun's we have broke. <laughs> this is why we don't shoot Weatherbees, ladies we and gentlemen. We have broke Garrett's gun. All right, so what's his punishment? Do we go rent the wildest thing we can find at the pro shop? Go see what they got at the pro yeah, shop and go give them something different. Thirteen hundred dollar over and under. You can rent this. guns here for twenty five bucks, guys. If you don't know about Heights Farms, I actually got a membership here because this place is so awesome. It's like a country club, but for shooting. They got a restaurant on site, cabins on site, three different courses to shoot skeet, five stand, woods course, field course, long range rifle, pistol range, side end rifle range. They got it all here. They got a gun store that has all the ammo you need and a gunsmith on site when you run into situations like this. The sheep weatherby might be out of commission. That might be an automatic loss. Or we might be able to go up to the gun store and see if we can make a replacement. All right, guys, we're rolling up on the pro shop, which is basically the gun store. I do believe the gunsmith is in here. Hey, man. You're the gunsmith, eh? Howdy, howdy. Yep, that's probably your favorite right there. My weather be stopped working. Do we even want to win Garrett's gun at this point? Yeah. No. But no. how sad would it be if he comes back and wins all of them yeah. with this? I'd be... All of them are going to Thad's to sell. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to let the gunsmith do his thing and see if we can't get back to shooting. Is it running? She's running, boys. All right, the weather bee is back in action. So what happened? User error. User error. Garrett, you're in luck. Back to shooting skeet. All right, we're back to the next station. You're just shooting the single shot. These are true pairs, but we're going to give them to them as singles. All right, you tell me when. Cool. Kill! Two hits. Bad, you're going to be in trouble, buddy. No, I'm not. Going to be in trouble. I've got this. Hit. He's in trouble. Yeah, they're going to be quick. Yeah. 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 Yes. Julius literally only missed one. But we get these as true pairs, so it's going to be a lot harder. Okay. All right, these are true pairs. Both are coming. Yes. That's a miss. Two O's. Yeah. 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 Three for zero. There you go. He cleaned it up at the end. All right, I'm up to bat on the true pairs. All righty, pull. Hit, hit, pull. Hit, hit. Hit, hit, pull. There we go. Back to being perfect. Bro, turn the aimbot off. Dude, I missed one. I thought I was going to shoot a perfect score. Go! You think the whole thing's going to run? Probably not. <laughs> All right, so if Garrett's gun doesn't cycle, we're gonna have to give them to him as single pair or singles, like which sucks. So that's not fair. I hope it's not. It's not fair. How does he get the nicest gun? I'm that guy. His, that guy. His should cycle, but he, but it doesn't because he bought a gun that he shouldn't have bought. Yeah. And he gets a f***ing freebie because of it. Well, he's gonna end up with a lot of O's if that thing don't cycle. Bullshit. I'm that guy. <laughs> There's a mess. We're gonna run through this and uh, pick you guys up at the next station. Guys, we are at station seven. There's 14 stations, so this is the halfway point. We're adding up the scores to see who's in the lead and what's going on. All right, Dad, what's your predictions? You're next to perfect, so you're in first. I've missed two. If I do my ma mental math right, yep. you're first. I'm second by one shot. Julius is third. And Garrett, you're bringing up the back. Really? Let's, that's my predictions. Let's see. Let's see what the scores are. So Julius has a 37. I have a 38. Dad has a 38. You're one up on Julius. Braden's got a 46. <laughs> Garrett's got a 33. Damn. Garrett's got a 33. Yeah. Just the Weatherby, I'm telling you. The Weatherby doing it, man. The Weatherby. You got to remember, there's $1,500 of guns riding on this. Maybe $1,000 now, because yeah. that Weatherby lost its value. <laughs> Dad, what do you think? I think I should have brought a cheaper gun. <laughs>
Alright guys, we're rolling up on the last two stations. We need to figure out the scores real quick. So Julius has Thad by three. I'm in the lead. You're in second? Yeah. Thad's Garrett. in third. Garrett's in fourth. Damn. Garrett, <laughs> so this one, one, me and Thad are gonna have to shoot in true pairs, but they get them as singles because their guns don't run. There you go. I really wanted to shoot it fast, but it's not where yep. I miss. So how do you feel losing your 870 like this? I've actually gotten like a bond to it now. Really? So I am I'm sad because at this point there's no way I could come back and yeah, win. You're like just, it's, you're it's just not done. happening. Hey, you ready? Oh! Yes! Oh, yes. No. I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm cool. Well, we're getting them in pairs. Oh, oh no! Cool. There it is. At least got that one there, bud. Six out of eight. Damn yeah. it, boy. I still don't know if that's enough for me to catch. All right, pull. There you go. Right, pull. Oh. Oh no, Thad! Why are you rubbing off on me? I jinxed myself so <laughs> bad. Man, that was a dumb miss. Pull. You got, you got both there. Pull. There it is. So when I got this gun, 870, I thought this thing was beautiful. I was going to be really pressed to lose it, especially since I got it at such a good price. But I might have 2870, Thad. Oh, Again. Oh, really you're, right just, right you're just losing out this past <laughs> week. Pull. Damn, I shot under that one. I already got a bad score, I felt like. We're in the lead, so I was like, all right. All right, pull. Dude, all right, pull. Oh my, what are you doing, How boy? far, how you far? You disintegrated that one and Over. then just how, whipped the other How far of a I ahead of y'all, like, am I losing it right now? No, no, no you, you could not even play the next round and probably still have a so. I've no, never I'm not hit these before. Pull. I'm a little nervous now because my shooting has progressively gotten worse. I yeah, I know I'm in the lead, but I got a worse score than I thought I was walking into, and so now I'm not like as I don't know, dude. We're shooting a competition next weekend, first competition ever. I'll be shooting my good gun then, so I think we'll be fine. A. B. A. A. Me. Before we go to the last station, let's see where everybody's at. So Julius has got a 67. Got a 64. You got a 64. Dude, I only got 76. 76. Garrett's, Damn. Garrett's at 62. So y'all are all battling it out right now. Yeah, I'm two I mean, behind Thad. I'm pretty much up. Four behind Julius. Julius is in second. Thad, Thad Actually, is in. Braden, you won already, no matter what. I even won if, already, no yeah, matter what. if he gets up. All right, eight. we're gonna have to go shoot and yeah, see real quick. Yeah. My shooting's gotten so bad. So I've came and shot here, and typically I've never shot a full game because it takes forever. But I come through and shoot, and I figured I was gonna be in the high 90s. Granted, I am shooting 870 today, but we gotta come back and shoot it with expensive guns and see what the difference is. Is it worth buying? more expensive gun. Yeah, I definitely need to bring my yeah, uh, Charles your, Daly out here. Your gun hardly runs, but I don't know if the Charles Daly Charles will be Daly better. Will do <laughs> all right, guys, they're battling it out. They're all three pretty tight on score, so we're going to see. Everything could change position-wise right now. Other than me. I think I got me an 870. A weather bee that doesn't run, and a single shot that looks like it's been ran over. It has been ran over. <laughs> oh! Damn. This one's Damn. a high flyer. Wow. Oh, oh no! The camera got put on. Everybody's woo. Y'all tied. If he, if he misses, misses one, one more, I run a perfect score. No pressure, bud. Uh oh, you should. You might shouldn't have said nothing. I know. I you might should have said nothing. Help. I was like, you know, getting his head a little bit, but oh, it's not looking good. Uh oh. If he misses one of these, Thad and him will be chance. tied if Thad shoots a perfect score. Yeah, no pressure on this shot, bud. No I pressure on it. All right, cool. Pull! Today. Pull! Pull! Today. Don't tell me it broke on the last shot. Dude, it's not throwing. I'm gonna hit pair, see what happens. Oh, wait, shoot me, he's coming! Oh, no! Dude, no. Was that! Wasn't well, looking. Julius is for sure Number beating two. that. Pull. Achoo! Oh. Achoo! Achoo! There it is. Pull. <laughs> Got him, bud. Pull. Pull. There it is. Yeah. All right. Started going. You ready? 
You scared me on that one. No, I did. Well, come to daddy. Oh. Yeah. Get out of here. I missed one, but I think that I think I'm on him. I could not I think let you I want perfect. Let's see where Garrett places. Hey. I'm in fair. Oh. That don't count. No, I'm not counting. Yep. There it is. Ended on a perfect score. Ended on score. it. Hell Woo! yeah. <laughs> Still lost your weather, B. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Don't gather my down. guns. Gather my guns. I'll take them. I'll take them. Where's my gun pad? Where is it? Just, 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 go ahead and give them to me. Here you go. Have fun with that. I, I don't think I need that one. Here, go, give me that one. Give me that one. I'll use this one to stir some paint or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, boys. Let's run up to the trucks and uh, let's go ahead and just add up the scores to see what the scores really came out to be. I didn't mean to make everyone my enemy. I have no gun to go home with now. Hey, you can just follow me. You're gonna just be out in front of you. Yeah, we, let's figure out the scores. So I shot at 83. I came in first. Julius second. I got Garrett by one shot. You dude. got Garrett by one no shot. Way. Thad's third. Garrett. Come on, man. I don't. I think understand. the weather be let you down. Dude, I don't get it. Oh yeah, just like an 870 should. We got a not one 870, but two 870s. Check it out. See, we got a dude. I don't know. This thing started running towards the end there, son. If it runs, honestly, it shoulders pretty good. We got a New England Firearms Hardner Model SBI. 20 gauge, three inch. I'm sure this thing's old as dirt. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, this was a video idea. I don't know how we came up with it, but it was definitely a funny and fun video idea to do. Luckily, I shot pretty pretty good today with the old 870. If it wasn't for finding such a good gun to go with, I think we'd have been a little bit more in trouble. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs up button, hit the like. If you want to see more content like this, put it down in the comments. Again, if you guys want to come out and shoot at Hyatt's gun range, this place is absolutely sick. I'm not sponsored. This place is just an absolutely awesome place to come and shoot with the family and shoot for competition get better i mean they got rifle ranges pistol ranges places to eat a gun store cabins dude it is nuts out here if you guys would hit the like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one